we're in a countdown situation. Or oh, a count up. A count up. We've already launched. It's happening. Okay. <laughs> in in our in, in our country, yeah. it, when it gets to five minutes to five, it'll go da 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 what is that? Is that, that is like a BBC the thing? The most obscure reference. Welcome to CBR TV. I'm Jonah Weil in the CBR Tiki room. We have two of the stars from Da Vinci's Demons. <laughs> this awkward start, but good. Yeah. Good. But what, no, wait, okay, this, okay, let's see. Tom Riley, Laura Haddock, mm -hmm. Da Vinci, and Lucretia. Yeah. This is our one year anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yeah, anniversary. Thank you. Because we met a year ago. What did, what did, what did you, you get, get us? <laughs> what did you Actually, get we us? have something for yeah. you. Ready? Ah! Come on. Come on, we have CBR cowbells just for you. <laughs> no <laughs> way! Just There's not enough cowbells. Oh my god, this is so brilliant. <laughs> awesome. Time's up. Thank you. So Thank if you. you can work that into Da Vinci's Demons somehow, you know, just put it in the in the background. I or something. Do you know what? We probably that is a could. Challenge I'm going to take. Because <laughs> we, I'm going to do yeah, that. Yeah, keep watching. Yeah. It'll be in episode ten. I'll find a way. You know, uh, you're, the, the guy who does the music for your show, Bear McCreary. Mm. Yeah. He uh, he got a challenge from somebody who wants to do kazoo. Uh, in one of his shows, and he actually put it in The Walking Dead. No. And, and he, f he found a way to make it work, and so I, I gotta get him one he of these. He finds a way to make everything yeah. and anything like that, yeah, man. Bear's incredible. He's incredible. So let's talk about season two. Going in a slightly new, new direction, you're going into the new world, it sounds like it's gonna be a little bit more adventure. Mm. Mm. Is, that, is, that, is that correct? Well, at the beginning, of the begin at the end rather, the beginning of the first season, the end of episode two, we revealed a map of South America on the wall, and there's only, on, on, um, on the wall of Da Vinci's workshop, there's only really a, <laughs> so much time you can go stalling before you have to send him off. Mm -hmm. And David had always pitched the show as a quest show. We were always going to go mm. around the world and see things. It just took a bit of pushing yeah. stars to convince them that that's what was going to work. <laughs> and uh, and you know, David won the argument, as David tends to do, and we ended up, you know, we ended up going. Um, and it's been crazy because it's allowed the characters, not just uh, the ones who go to South America, but others go to other parts of the world and other people visit unusual, unexpected places in Italy. Mm. So they, they move geographically and they grow emotionally. They go on journeys both within them and without themselves. <laughs> Do you get to go too, or is, is he just gonna go by himself here? Well, listen, Lucretia's gotta get out of Florence because- <laughs> yeah. She's going a little crazy yeah, there. She's was, caused a lot of, um, she's tough. left some- It'd be tough to stay there mm. um, for a long period of time. So um, what's great about season two is that I got the opportunity to actually journey backwards and go and visit Lucretia seven, eight years ago and see what happened in her life. And it's the reason why she is the person that she is today. So that was fascinating exploring that. And then she goes off on lots of different journeys again. She's kind of being puppeted around by... As an actress, that's interesting. So you're gonna go play like a younger version of her. Uh, or, or, yeah, it, it was a lot of concealer that morning. What? <laughs> I mean, a lot of concealer. <laughs> that I was like, come on, full girls. Full prosthetics, Yeah, actually, full prosthetics. In, yeah. Come on, girls, seven, yeah. eight years ago. Yeah. Let's take it off. But how did, how did you adjust your personality? What did you strip away from her? Well, it was so lovely to go and visit Lucretia and play Lucretia when, when she was innocent and pure and young and hopeful and it was it was sad it was really sad to think that she could have been this beautiful warm open person to life and experiences but what happened in that moment changed her forever yeah. and in my opinion it was it's that one of the worst things that could ever happen to anybody so you you don't necessarily justify what she does but you understand it on some level because she has to avenge that right. she has to 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 allow herself to grieve and put it to rest, so. Tom, give me, uh, you got your first season under your belt. Mm. I want to hear from both of you. Favorite moment for, from season one? Oh, that's a great question. God, I mean, you had I'll so you many what. millions of moments. I had a lot of <laughs> moments, but I do love our scene in episode eight. Yeah, There's I love. I love doing that the, scene. Where basically the the um the two of us managed to pour out everything that had been kept pent mm. up for eight episodes, mm. and it's like it's a rare treat, in, especially in a show like ours that's so action packed and full of adventure and explosions and kind of crazy visits from Dracula, <laughs> to actually have a minute where two characters can just talk, talk. and get out everything they're feeling, mm. and, and it's you know like doing a mini play. Mm. That was, that and there's so fun. much more to be said as well with them, mm -hmm. which is really exciting for us because we know that there's gonna be a time when you guys see these two come back together and we're gonna get the opportunity to have one of those conversations again. And mm. it's it, like Tom said, it's great doing the action stuff, it's really exciting, it's exhilarating, but the thing that really get, gets me, gets you, I know, mm. is the stuff when you just talk. Yeah. And it's great writing and you trust it. Yeah. Is the action hard for you guys? 
the it's action. It's hard for me, yeah. I'm constantly breaking things. I'm You're good at bruises. it, though. Really, Are you really? good at Have it. Have you broken yourself, uh, broken things on set? Uh, Emma, my makeup artist, has to cover my bruises hey, Emma. every day. Hey, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> has, to, has, to, has to cover bruises every single day. Bruises and scratches and... Or and them. you don't want to know where. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you doing to him? <laughs> uh, or add them. If it I ain't me, enough, babe. That's the worst thing. Or cover, them in, cover me in blood if there isn't yeah. enough blood already. So, yeah, it's an action patch show. And you, when you're playing that kind of part that's constantly being thrown out of windows or jumping off cliffs, then you're going to sustain some injuries. I, you know, finishing up here, David being who he is, he's everywhere right now. He's making Batman movies. He's making yeah. Superman movies. Do you guys get strange visits on the set of people trying to get to David or anything like that? Is that anything like that ever happened? Um, well, well, Batman came to set once. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just dropped in out of the sky, just sorted some people out who were giving us some trouble. No, not really, actually. Because people we keep always trying to get time when with David's him. Yeah. there. Okay. So it, obviously, he, he works mostly out of LA where the writer's room is. He comes to set occasionally back and forth every month or so. Right. But it's never at the same time. There's never a routine. We we're pretty, we're pretty weird so. with him, though, aren't we? Oh, like, yeah, when I mean, he's we, in we, Wales, we're like, David, go and we Tell text. me what happens in Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happens. And He's like, a bad guy. Can you sign this? <laughs> no, we don't. Always a pleasure seeing you guys. I'm, I'm glad Thank we've had so this much. anniversary here. You got a present, Thank you know. You. Like, you something. This, this is a long term relationship now, just yeah. so you guys know. Looking forward to next yeah. year. Yeah? Well, yeah? I'm going to have to come up with a better gift, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I'm in big trouble. Uh, Tom and Laura, thank you very much. Thank, and good you. Luck thank you so much. I'm Jonah Wild, and this is CBR TV.